Stormwater Institute is a program that allows dozens of, of Maine juniors and seniors to come together at the University of Maine for a couple days to learn about water quality and stormwater and monitoring all these pollutants and uh, like the biological, chemical, and physical parameters of the streams. And then after this institute, we each travel to our home cities and we travel to our home watersheds and we continue with monitoring the uh, situations of the watersheds and eventually work towards remediating the streams. Today we have about uh, 100 students and their teachers participating in this program for three days and at the end of the week they're going to get a set of knowledge that I would say a limited number of students across Maine have and when they go back to their community they're going to use the knowledge they learned here to address watershed problems in their community. The bigger picture is to just get the kids excited about science, technology, engineering and math and show them the connection between the type of science and mathematics course they take at school and the impact it can have on everybody's life in the state, on economic development, in water quality monitoring. Water is the most important um, substance on earth that kind of sustains our lives. And when um, we talk about these wireless sensor technology for the kids, we see the spark in their eyes that, okay, that's why I'm learning mathematics, that's why I'm learning chemistry or physics or biology. So we just want to connect the dots. So when we look at a body of water, there's a story to be told. And there's a chemical story, there's a biological story, and there's a physical story. So the kids are looking at using uh, sensors to study the water. They're looking at the chemical profile using a conductivity sensor, pH sensor, and a temperature sensor right now. And they're also sampling the river for uh, coliforms, intestinal uh, bacteria that may get into the water as a result of uh, any number of things. Could be uh, you know, dead and decaying animals, it could be septic systems that leak, hopefully not. But they're just having a great time. It's, it's really great. It's a great experience for them. Students here really get a lot of experience with various lab techniques and water quality monitoring procedures. For instance, detecting E. coli. We use an IDEX 20 tray system, which is used in, in labs across the country. And so this gives kids hands-on experience with procedures like that, uh, with using sensors and analyzing data and looking at the streams as, as a bigger picture, looking at the relationship between the streams and the environment as well as the uh, anthropogenic aspects. I think it's, I guess, sort of eye-opening to see what's actually in our water because you might think it looks really clear, but then you see all these pathogens in it. I'm learning to work in a lab, like even basic stuff like cleaning lab equipment properly is stuff that we're getting out of this. Um, it looks great on a college application, um, so it's definitely something worth doing. It gives you hands-on experience with dealing with actual live data and not something like manufactured in a school classroom. So the big picture is to really involve these kids in STEM education, to learn how to use new technologies, how to use engineering problem solving to address scientific problems and certainly these students will go on to become the new develop the new workforce and hopefully make a more vibrant um, economy for the state of Maine and the nation.